Which Disney princess are you? Which badminton playstyle are you? Being great on one thing instead of being mediocre on a bunch of things. Today we're gonna ask you a bunch of questions and go over five different playstyles that you can choose to adopt to accelerate your game. Our first playstyle is one of the most obvious playstyles. It's the Smash net playstyle. Now starting from service, what we want to do from here is making sure that we serve a little bit flatter and further. The difference between a far and flat serve and a short and soft serve. When you serve short, people are more likely to hit closer to the net and lift high to move you around. When you hit faster and flatter, people are more likely to return with a faster shot for you, giving you more opportunities to play quick at the net or even go straight into attack. Playing around the net can mean two things. One is either hitting far block shots to around the first line, so that you're trying to set up their flat pushes. In this attacking playstyle, you're always looking for these flat pushes to come up and attack. Second type of net shot is when you're rallying, you can do a little fish net shot that comes really tight. What this is gonna do is force them to hit a net shot and then you can come up and do net play to set up for that high lift to go into that attack. Do you like to play with more patience, play with more rhythm, play with more control? Do you like to move your opponent around? Well, the second play style is for you and this is a clear drop play style. Now, when you're playing this play style, you want to make sure that all of your shots are higher and over the person's head to prevent them from attacking. Because in order to play the clear drop playstyle, you have to prevent your opponent from attacking and you want your opponent to follow you into a clear drop. So we want to be hitting slower net shots, higher clears, slower drops, moving our opponent around quicker. And for us, we don't need to rush as well. We just need to make sure we always keep up and stay in position. And you want to vary between higher shots and flatter shots on your clears just slightly to mess up your opponent's rhythm to look for that opportunity to win the point. Do you like to wait for your opponent to attack first because you don't like to waste your energy, waiting for them to run out of energy before you hit that winning point? Well, this style is for you and this is the counter attack playing style. How do you play this counter attack style? Well, there's a very specific way to play it, starting from our service. When we are serving, we want to be making sure, of course, we're always serving flatter because we want our opponent to attack. So we want our opponent to hit further net shots so that when we lift, we don't hit perfectly high net shots to the back. We actually hit slightly flatter and more half court pushes to the back. That way, it gives them an easier chance to attack. It's okay to give them easier chances to attack because we are ready to defend. This is what we want and this is what we are setting up. So we'll be hitting half court shots and then once they're ready to attack, will come down, defend, and then from this spot, they'll be hitting a loose shot and out of position, and this is our opportunity to come up, attack, and win the point. So setting up our attack by defending first, by forcing them to attack, but the only difference is that we are ready to defend, and this is what we set up to create. Do you like to move less around the court playing a flatter game? Well, this style is for you. Our fourth style is the drive style or what I like to call the Topic Hidia style. So this style involves a lot of flat play and not a lot of clear dropping. In the backcourt, instead of hitting high clears or tight drops, what we're gonna be doing most of the time is applying speed and distance on our shots forward with drive smashes, with farther, flatter smashes, that way our opponent's returns will be further because of the speed that's coming. And then after these shots, we're gonna be moving forward and entering into drives left and right, keeping them fast and focusing on the different points of the body on our opponent so that our opponent cannot pop it up again or hit tight net shots. And then from there, we just keep drive, 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 drive until we win this point. Now this play style is very good when you want to move around less, but the problem with this play style is you're both moving around less, so your shots really need to be faster and more precise than your opponent. Our last style is probably my favorite style and probably one of your favorite styles, showman or the trickster play style. The thing about showman play styles is that it's so amazing to watch. You can hit whatever you want, trick shots, whatever you want, in between the legs, setting up all the time. You're very free in your play style. Now there's no specific way to play it. It's literally just put yourself out of position on purpose because that's how you get those cool trick shots. 
Now the downside of this playstyle is you need to be better than your opponent. Oftentimes, you're playing in a worse position on purpose to hit those cool shots. You need to be able to recover all those hard shots on defense no matter where it is. If you're super out of position, boom, you gotta be able to hit it back, play out of desperation. But you'll be really cool. So now that we know which Disney princess you are, make sure to put on your little tutu and play some badminton.